at Stonebridge Road, uh, the home of Ebsolete United, gone out of the FA Trophy, but one really good news story today was uh, the return to the uh, Ebsolete squad for the first time this season of uh, Rakish being in first game back since uh, the March because of injury. Got 30 minutes at the end, yeah. admittedly the result wasn't the one you wanted, but how great was that to be back out on the pitch? Yeah, I mean, on a personal level, um, it's, been a, it's been a difficult eight and a half months, I'd say, nine months, um, for obvious reasons through injury, but yeah, I was just happy to be back out there today. I mean, the result wasn't what we wanted, um, but as I said, on a personal note, yeah, it was a, it was a good milestone. How does it actually feel uh, when you're out there uh, playing again? I mean, physically now, having done those, those 30 minutes? Yeah, I mean, I've been in the stands watching for the most part, and I think you can not influence you can influence it a little bit. Mm -hmm. I can go in the dressing room, speak to the boys and stuff, but being out there is the, my way of wanting to influence the team. And um, yeah, it's just, it feels good to be back out there, and hopefully now we can we could pick up a little bit of form. Mm. Well, I suppose it's important not to rush it, isn't it? But I mean, you'll be wanting your first start as soon as possible now, won't you? Yeah, it's important not to rush it. But as I said, I, my, I feel like my biggest influence is on the pitch, helping the boys. So, mm. um, yeah, the sooner I can do that, the better. Whether it be starting, whether it not be starting, getting minutes is the most important thing for me. I suppose one of the hardest things was the guys winning the title at the end of last season. And although you'd obviously played a massive part during the season, but to not be on the pitch right at the end when you went over the line. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I remember that vividly. Um, but at the same time, I think we was in a very good position prior to my injury anyway. Mm. And um, yeah, I remember watching on the Dom put, putting my shirt up for me. So yeah, it was a nice touch and it was still nice to know that we, we did the hard the hard yards during the season. Mm. Bit of word on today's game. Um, mm. It's not your highest priority, but you know, you don't want to lose any games of football, do you? No, no. I don't think any of us are in the business to, to play and, and lose. Um, we always go out to win. So uh, I can understand maybe the fans might be a bit frustrated. We're, we're just as frustrated. Don't don't get it twisted. Um, but yeah, it's about it's, it's a results business and it's about putting it right. Do you know what I mean? And we need to turn it around as soon as possible. And I think we're we're working towards doing that. So just just be positive. Stick with us because we want to turn things around. How did you not go through today? Because I think that last half hour of the game, you look comfortable to me. Yeah, I mean anybody watching can see we was we was a dominant side and. Um, cliche but it's, it's all right being dominant you've got to, mm. you've got to score the goals and keep the ball out of your net so um, we wasn't good enough with that today we gave them a chance I mean gave them a lift that they got the last minute equalizer if you like um, and they've carried the momentum into penalties I mean anyone can miss penalties so um, as I said to Dom in there like keep your head up it's, it, can, it can happen to the best players best players miss penalties so um, yeah, it's important that we don't drop our heads too much because next week's a big game and we need to, as I said, turn it around and start delivering in the league. Mm. Is it, is it Barnet next, isn't it? Is, yeah, Barnet at home. The next one. I mean, yeah, they're, they're up there, they're doing well, but you know, the, the side just come back from, from Oldham and got a really yeah. good result. And they were a side in good form as well. There is that performance there, you just got to find it. Yeah, we're, we're capable of it. It's just, a, it's just building consistency and, and having that belief week in, week out. Um, Barnet are doing well, but I think this, this is a league that any given day you can you can win against anyone and I think we back ourselves we definitely do I mean the form hasn't been showing out of recent um, but we want to turn that around and like I said on every given day we back ourselves we can get a result against any team in the league mm. for sure. How frustrating has it been when the club are not doing as well as you want but you're on the off, you're on the <coughs> sidelines not being able to do anything about it? Yeah as I, as I said it's a, it's, a, it's a group effort do you know what I mean um, and being outside, not being able to influence it on the pitch, as you say, you get you get paid to go on the pitch and help the team. So when I can't do that, it's it's a bit frustrating. But I try not to put that onto the boys and, and let them know my frustrations. I'll just keep that for myself and support every any way I can. And as I have been for the last eight and a half months, and yes, yeah, it's, it's now on a personal level, it will be nice to input on the pitch and help the boys and influence the dressing room as much as I can. Because mm. yeah, as I said, we want to win. We want to turn things around and. Yeah, we want to be in a, a better position than we are now. You can stay up, can't you? You're not going to go down this year, right? Yeah, I mean, that's that's the aim. We definitely want to stay up. Um, and, yeah, that's, that's the club's aim. That's how we're ambitious people. We're all ambitious players. The manager's ambitious. And we want to, we do want to turn this around. So, stick by. Everybody stick by us. Um, and I think we'll be all right. Brilliant. Well, nice to see you back on the pitch. No, Lovely to have you on the programme. Appreciate